Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Last time, we got out of this tower which collapsed behind us, and today we're going to explore... Dang it, I messed that up. Today we're going to explore the area up to Gorhart and do the next part of our quest. Alchemical regions can be found in plants. Money found once again in these boxes. Sometimes you're not going to find anything depending on how high or low your alchemy skill is. And there's almost no one important here. Good luck out there. Yeah, he's not important. So this area is pretty... St if I can open my map... This area is pretty straightforward, but there are some... out-of-the-way areas that have some useful stuff. Well, useful for where we are right now. Once we get high ET or armor and stuff... Nothing that we get here is going to matter that much. Except for maybe some shards and blacksmithing or alchemy ingredients. I miss. Can these guys not attack us or something? You can press the right and left arrows to restore your health and magic quickly. These things always give a problem this early in the game. A group of enemies. Lock picking. Use right to get where you want to, where you think it is. Move the thing over to the right if it starts to shake re readjust it and see what happens that's just a potion that raises damage I don't really care about those dispelling try to line up the thing with all of your um glyph they call them and press X Yeah, we got a nice shard. The glyphs with the more lines on them recharge, well, stop working faster than the non, than the ones with the less lines. And all of a sudden I suck at talking again. I'll get more into uh, the crafting things in a future video. I might put it in this group of episodes, but it's going to come out later when I actually have some reagents. These guys aren't that bad. They give you plenty of room.
chances are at this point in the game there's not that many creatures that can deal you damage below where they give you that sound to remind you to heal. This way, is, this, right over there is the guy we need to talk to, but there is an area to unlock the ability to fast travel to. So let's get that while we're here. Camera control loss when you enter near an area. Here's a tough enemy. You. I remember you. You're Using those shadow daggers is amazing on large back? enemies. How did you find me here? No, I had no idea anything like that would happen. The well of souls is bigger than one. This guy is all of a sudden out his side. Pays for information about its progress. I just send the reports to make some money on the side. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. So he's been spying on I promise you, if I knew who former was, Hughes. Sharing research is one thing, but academic sabotage is a crime. Thank you, thank you. Here, take this. It's the pay for my last report. I don't want anything. I to don't do want him around. I'm going back home to Odessa. So we get money and we know that he comes from Odessa. Green things on the map are shrines. Just run up to them and you get a bonus effect for a while. Oh, and these are deer. They don't hurt you. But you can kill them. In one shot with anything. Anything hidden this way? Nope. There might be something hidden here that we can't see. But we don't have the detect hidden skill for it. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old Fate Weaver, eh? Fate Weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. What is a Fate Weaver? And being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. Hughes asked for me. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. Why do you think he's well, dead? Honestly, although we did a lot of drinking after that. You really don't know much, do you? A fate weaver taps into the threads of um, let's ask about the cards, why not? Through a focus. My order Thanks for that. Cards. The cards are unique to each fate weaver, since we all see the weave differently. You, you're the one. Then that means it all. It's okay. Makes I was sense dead. Now. He was. The cards this morning. I drew the grave digger, the running man, and the beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Got a portal in my back. 
So he knew these guys were gonna come here. That's just great. And he sees death. Oh wait, I don't think he's told us that yet. Dang it! And now we're learning about fate energy, which we can gain by using special attacks like magic abilities. And we can press L1 and R1 and hold it to enter fate mode. Slows down time. Gives us a bonus to our damage. And once we have what we want, we can press X and then button mash to gain additional experience. What? How? What are you? The threads of fate. Now he wants I've to talk to us. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that I don't know. possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of the hours you death and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but Joy. he had a respect for fate's plan. Unlike this why we're here? Stones. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place All right. in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real. Right? I swear I haven't had that much. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out. But under are you okay? There, yours is just missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true. And I'm not saying I believe that. Then your path is yours to determine. So we can make our own path in life. We are the fateless one, which, if we use that destiny, gives us no bonuses. If we want to be a ranged specialist right now, we can be a rogue. It gives us ranged attack damage, damage resistance while dodging, and extra piercing damage. Acolyte gives us elemental damage and reduced co mana cost. And Brawler gives us melee attack damage and block. I think right now the best thing for us to do would be to the have the reduced the mana cost. I can't make sense of them. Normally what did the you see? Would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. Makes sense, seeing as we're dead. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arno. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives so what's up with me? 
the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? Okay, so we have no fate. Yet we're going around changing everyone else's fate. Could cause some kind of problem down the line. That's a DLC pack. I'm going to start it when we reach the um, town where you started in. There's another DLC area right there that I'm going to start at about the same time. This right here is a lore stone. There's a bunch of them hidden around each area. If you find them all, you get a bonus that's always active on your character. Oh yeah, and they give you a story. I got that one just to demonstrate, but I'm probably going to get the rest much later when I have a high enough detect hidden skill to find them on my map. Welcome to Gorehart. Oh, we can't. We have to do what they want us to do. We can fast travel to anywhere on our map. It will give us the... Like... Facilities of each Everyone town. Back. The warden can't work this looks like it has just groups. about everything. Go back to your business. Go on. See Nanny for alchemical goods. Oh. Hey there. So, someone looks injured. But I'm going to do all the quests in a future episode. For now, welcome to Gorehart. There's a couple stuff in the chest because ridiculously easy DLC. Free that, free at that, I believe. Just get the gear and throw it on. You know, provided you have three might. Dang it. Can't equip this at all. Alright. That's just about everything. You can fight friendlies in towns. Go the next part of our storyline is way over here in Yolvin, I think. Yeah, each area has its, its own bit of a name. Yolvin is the area where our next path is. But next time, we will be exploring Odoroth. And, um... Then we shall be doing the quest in another episode, exploring all of the areas that might be around the edge of Odoroth. And if I get to it, get enough materials for it, explaining everything you need to know about crafting, sage crafting, alchemy, blacksmithing. Well, there's no crafting, but it's just general. Oh yeah, and there's probably something important in the pub. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Hope you had fun. And, um... Let's try not to get confused by all this fate stuff. <laughs>